Today we're taking a look at the Orico IG740 Pro NVMe Solid State Drive. Thanks to Orico for sending this one over for us to take a look at. The IG740 Pro is a PCI Express 4.0 NVMe drive with some excellent rated performance. This drive is one of the higher end models that Orico currently sells. Orico is marketing this drive as being able to achieve up to 6500 megabytes per second sequential write speeds with read speeds reaching up to 7450 megabytes per second. And there's more IOPS than you can shake a stick at. This drive utilizes TLC NAND with an SLC cache and it's actually making use of HMB or host memory buffer technology. The SLC cache is crazy fast and that HMB tech really makes the difference for maintaining performance even as this drive starts to fill up. In addition to the lightning fast read and write speeds, the 2 terabyte version that I have here today is rated at an amazing 1200 terabytes written in terms of endurance. Endurance is an important factor when you buy an SSD, and you definitely want to keep that on your mind when you're looking at the specs. Eventually, all SSDs will wear out. This is normal for the technology. At 1200 terabytes written, though, in terms of endurance, this drive is incredibly durable. It's probably going to outlast your PC or your PS5 by two, three, or maybe even four times, meaning you could carry this SSD over to your next console or your next couple of gaming PC builds. In my opinion, this is a really quality setup drive. Orico is including an optional set of a thermal pad and a basic heatsink, along with the M.2 screw and a 3mm screwdriver. I think this is a nice touch. Not everybody's going to have an NVMe heatsink on their motherboard or a screwdriver readily available to install the SSD. This definitely adds a little bit more value to the drive overall. Interestingly enough, this solid state drive also features some power loss protection. Kind of neat for a drive at this price point to have some of these enterprise type features. As for my testing of this solid state drive, I set this drive up as the main operating system drive in my Ryzen 9700X RTX 4070 Super test bench PC. I ran some basic file copy tests and of course Crystal Disk Mark 8. I like this benchmark, it helps illustrate performance, especially as the drive fills. This solid state drive performed quite well in my 3%, 52%, and 83% storage utilization testing. In the 3% test, or the base test with just the operating system installed and Crystal Disk Mark running, I saw about 6500 megabytes per second in terms of write speeds, and about 7400 megabytes per second in terms of read speeds. These are, of course, sequential. As for the 52% testing, or basically one terabyte full out of the two total terabytes, I wanted to get an idea of what the performance was like here. This is more representative of you've got your operating system installed, some games installed, some data, and other stuff on the drive. Basically, you're all settled in and using the PC at this point. As for the sequential writes, we're still comfortably in that 6,500 megabytes per second range, and for the reads, we were again over 7,400 megabytes per second. The random 4K tests were still holding the line, which is excellent to see. In my opinion, this testing result was relatively good. Finally, I do like to retest these drives at somewhere over 80% utilization, or in the case of this drive, I was a little bit over 1.5 terabytes full out of the two terabytes total. The IG740 Pro performed well here again, averaging over 6,500 megabytes per second sequential writes, and the reads were again over 7,400 megabytes per second. The random 4K testing was still quite good, so very awesome for the SSD being as full as it is. I think a lot of this has to do with, of course, the TLC NAND, the SLC cache, and the HMB technology. The host memory bus feature takes a tiny amount of system memory and essentially replaces the need for the traditional onboard DRAM for your solid state drive. Usually it's taking something like 64 megabytes of your system RAM, so relatively small, but it makes a huge difference. Combining the HMB with the controller, the firmware, and the SLC cache, we basically end up with a super fast and responsive solid state drive on our hands here. In my opinion, this solid state drive would make a great main operating system drive, and you can store data and other applications or games on it as well. The IG740 Pro is available in 512GB, 1TB, 2TB, like what I have here today, and 4TB capacities. So there's definitely an option out there for you to get, to either grow into, or to meet whatever need you have. From my testing of this drive, I would also say it's very capable in terms of being a video editing drive as well. 
I think it might actually be time to swap out my old SN750 drive with this IG740 Pro drive to give my main editing rig a boost in read and write performance. To recap, I really like the endurance rating. It's good to see that Orico is warranting this drive for five years. This drive is also single-sided, which will help with physical compatibility in some laptops and consoles. In terms of the length, it's 2280, which is very common and should fit in most devices. So I think if you're looking for a solid, strong performing, fast NVMe drive that has endurance to back it up, the Orico IG740 Pro should be near or at the top of your list, especially if you want that extra heatsink and the screwdriver. They're nice finishing touches. If you want to learn more about the IG740 Pro, or you want to pick one of these drives up for your next gaming PC or upgrade, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below so you can head down there and check that out. If you got anything out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you could smash that like button, as that tells YouTube to share this video with other people who are researching fast NVMe solid state drives. If you're into gaming PC and home lab component videos like this one, I would definitely say get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. There's quite a bit of content on the channel already for gaming PC and server builds, so take a look at the older catalog. Until next time, keep on gaming.